A shiny new smartphone, fancy purse or new watch may be on your discount wish list at the Black Friday sales this week, mm. but thieves are on the prowl looking for their own unbeatable deal. Yeah, new figures out today show that the high street is still a pickpocket's paradise, especially around the busy Christmas period. Thieves pocketing £190 worth of valuables. That's each time that they strike, on average. There were more than 440,000 thefts from people last year in England and Wales alone, which equates to a potential £84 million worth of personal items stolen each year. Now, of course, you're thinking, but it won't happen to me. I'm really careful. It could happen to anyone. Mm. Look, this is earlier on. This is Piers, of course, and without his knowledge, the man that he thought was our sound man this morning was, in fact, a professional stage pickpocket. Here he is demonstrating how the slightest distraction can be an opportunity for a thief. And he picks up Piers's phone. You didn't realise, did you, that I that was happening absolutely this morning? Absolutely no idea. In fact, I just suggested to him, why don't you try and pickpocket my phone live <laughs> on air? And you'd already done it. Yeah. So um, I had no idea you did that. Here we go. He's here now, Lee. And Piers, if you look in your trouser pocket, mm -hmm. I think your you'll right find something that he might have put in there. No. <laughs> Do you want to stand up? Is your right hand pocket? This might be my left hand one. Oh, the left oh. hand. Oh my God! It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a shocking, unsightly spectacle <laughs> has emerged in my pocket. It's a picture of you. It... So you took my my what my phone out? Yeah. And you and put this in. Put that in as a joke. Let's as well. let's introduce you. Well, I'm not you laughing. Are, uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're not laughing. <laughs> uh, Lee Thompson. Now you are not a criminal pickpocket. No, no I'm not responsible for all those. No things on statistics. The streets. Yep. No, you actually are a, a stage entertainer, yes, and yes. Um, you know you pickpocket as part of an entertainment uh, sort yeah. of uh, show. But you also advise, don't you? Yeah, we do a lot of crime prevention for the police. Is it very easy to, for an experienced pickpocket to actually just slide it hands is, into various? Yeah, pockets? the element of surprise is in their favour. You're going away around your daily business. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking for that perfect opportunity. And in some of the clips, we set it up to show people, look, your bag's just under your chair, we can just snatch that because mm. you're on your smartphone, on social media or doing whatever you're doing. You're How many working it. pairs or groups um, were they trying to From what you? I've witnessed, what I saw there, and we don't know the numbers, mm. it's impossible to know, but gangs uh, are four or five girls, mm. um, 11, 12, 13 years old, unfortunately. You think nothing of that. If you're rushing onto the tube, the door's shut, a gang of girls run on, giggling, oh, just a normal day out. What you don't realise is they're mobbing you, they're surrounding you, giving the perfect misdirection. You know, that's one of the, it's the distraction, I think, yes. which is so mm. interesting because, of course, you know, you took Piers' phone out mm. of his pocket. A giant phone. A giant phone. He then picked it up. Yep. Didn't even occur to him that no. it was, hadn't been in his and pocket the And then you apologised for not listening to a word I said. I did. And I didn't say a word. No, you no. didn't. No. And, and actually, what you'd done is completely distracted him by yeah. appearing to be doing something. I could have just something. passed it on to my confederate that was there and gone, and you look and go... I mean, you were so clueless, I genuinely thought you were one of our sound guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I, I do, do apologise for the insult not only to our guest but our entire crew as well. Uh, Piers Morgan definitely in the building. You need to keep an eye on your phone. By the way. I know. I, I didn't, never thought I'd say that because you have your eyes on your phone the entire time. So Forewarned is forearmed. So perhaps it's keeping an eye on everything else. But that it's you've funny got you say you. that though. But you also need to keep your oh, eye here we go. Got on yes! the phone. Yes! No, but I and you have no pockets. The head mistress the has there. been brought to her knees. <laughs> I, I leave my phone on the desk and always trust. I have enormous faith in my crew. Right. So just to clarify, <laughs> you didn't actually keep an eye on your phone <laughs> no, whilst lecturing right. me about taking too much attention right. to mine. I think that's called schooled. Uh, Lee, lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you, you ever so much. much.